I'm here with Dr. Kevin Brown, whose focus is restoring hearing in children. Thank you so much for joining us, doctor. Now, I want to talk about the compatibility and potential issues you come across with MRI and a cochlear implant. One of the problems that we deal with as a specialty is that MRI is being increasingly utilized for more and more diverse um, applications for making diagnosis of different problems. Um, it has probably become the preferred study within the orthopedic uh, community as far as evaluating soft tissue uh, injuries and even to a certain degree some bony injuries. The issue that arises um, is that individuals that have cochlear implants typically have magnets um, within the cochlear implant. And with a lot of those devices, um, they are not deemed to be safe to go through an MRI scan. Specifically, the problem that occurs is that the magnets, when they are in a magnetic field, can migrate, they can twist, they can turn. And in that circumstance, it can be extraordinarily painful for the patient who is undergoing the MRI scan for whatever indication. So generally speaking, for uh, subjects, for patients that have had cochlear implants, um, they cannot do an MRI scan without having the magnet removed. In those patients who do have the magnet removed, it requires a small surgery, but a surgery to do it. Obviously in children, it would require them undergoing a general anesthetic as opposed to a local anesthetic. And in that circumstance, um, the uh, child after the magnet is removed is dealing with a very inconvenient problem. Specifically, um, they're having to try and utilize stickers or other types of retaining devices to hold the external portion of their cochlear implant in proximity to the internal portion. Further issue that arises is that in order to return them back to that normal state where a magnet is now back in the receiver stimulator, it requires yet another surgery, um, again under a general anesthetic, to replace um, the battery so that they can start using their cochlear implant normally. So it's fair to say, I think, that many children will have to have an MRI at some point in their life. Mm -hmm. This must be a huge concern for parents. Uh, what would you tell them as far as the future developments and overcoming this issue? Well, the only absolute solution to uh, their concern about whether their child can get an MRI scan following cochlear implantation is, frankly, to have a cochlear implant that is deemed to be safe in a child that is undergoing, or an adult for that matter, that is undergoing an MRI scan. Um, in that circumstance, there is only one cochlear implant that is on the market um, that is deemed to be MRI safe, and that is the uh, Medel Synchrony. How important is structure preservation? Well, I think it's critical. I think there are probably three major reasons um, that that ends up being the case. Number one is that uh, outcomes are related to structure preservation are capacity to preserve low frequency hearing while putting a cochlear implant in is utterly dependent on structure preservation. And then finally, the patient's ability to potentially take advantage of new technologies is going to be based upon how much natural structure remains. Can an implant recipient expect residual hearing? Absolutely. So with an extraordinarily high likelihood, over 95%, um, of patients in studies um, that we performed at the University of North Carolina, we were able to preserve their low frequency hearing using Medel electrodes. Now, you've been in this business a long time. How has it changed? What were the expectations when you started, and how is it different now? So, initially, when cochlear implants were introduced, the patients that were getting them were those that had absolutely no hearing. And what we have found over time is that those patients that have good low frequency hearing can actually have that hearing preserved. If an appropriate implant is placed in an appropriate way a majority of the time, so about 95 percent of the time. And in that circumstance, they can function at a much higher level than they would be able to with just the implant alone. Fantastic. That's great. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of Thank CI you. 2016.